Annie Drinkful, seconds out, joined by David Adelaide after that great performance. A win under your belt, 7-0, and how would you feel? Um, good, just feel like myself again. Um, I'm just getting back into getting the swing of things. You stopped him in the fourth round. It was well. It looked like you could have stopped him before. He managed to get up from the count. Was that the aim to, to make a statement tonight? It was just the aim to go out there and beat myself. I think I knew if I beat myself, I will make a statement. Um, so I just went out there to have a bit of fun, and you know the rest comes in to play. And you're pleased with obviously that performance and the fact that since your last fight in April, I think it was, there's been a few a few doubters, as you've said. You know, people were sort of loving that it wasn't maybe your best performance. Do you do you feel like you've righted those wrongs? Yeah. Um, to be fair, though, like I said before, and if you allow them to build you, allow them to break you. So, you know, it doesn't really get to me. It's all part of the game. It's part and parcel. So. Um, but yeah, in terms of stopping him today, I knew that was going to happen. I just had to go out and be myself. That's all it was. That last performance wasn't me. Um, everyone knew. Everyone knows that. Everyone knew that. And I think half the people that, not half the people, all the people that spar me and see me in the gym when I'm sparring or when I'm doing certain things in the gym knew that performance wasn't me. So um, it's just about going out there and enjoying it. And uh, I didn't want to make no excuses. We knew what the problem was going into that last fight. But um, nobody cares about excuses. That's just the truth. So. I mean, you did win it, but you know, some people were saying maybe you shouldn't have got the win. But what do you feel like you did wrong, having had time to reflect and changed from this fight? I did a lot wrong. I did a lot wrong. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm not here to start talking about what I did wrong because there were certain things that happened when I went into the fight from beforehand, and then um, so there's certain things I couldn't really do. So even though I could see all the mistakes he was making, I couldn't really cap capitalize on them because obviously I was feeling some type of way and whatnot. So, but look. It's part of the game, we move forward. Um, what I did know was that, look, I'm young at the end of the day. So I knew I was going to have fights afterwards to prove myself. Um, some people were still supporting me and whatnot. I mean, credit to them. And then a lot of people were waiting for somebody to, they wait for a chink in your arm and then they jump on it. But, I mean, I'm not one to, I don't look for the internet um, for confidence. So uh, what they say over there doesn't really affect me because I don't go there anyway to boost my ego. So you can't really downplay my ego. And so now you're seven and zero. You want in to be active, get out again ASAP. Yeah, thirty first of July. <laughs> who? Who is it? Who you want in? Nah, anyone. You know what it is. Um, I want to just stay as active as possible. I'm young, so I might as well. And you are young, seven and zero. So you've still got quite, you know, a, a way to go. But do you feel like? You're stepping up and you're getting ready and you're ready for, for tougher and tougher opponents? Yeah, I'm definitely getting there. Um, day by day, brick by brick, Rome wasn't built in a day. So it's just about, you know, um, learning what I do best and taking advantage of what I do best and what I don't do so good, just working on making it stronger. And do you feel like your confidence level at the moment is at a stage where you would take on anyone? Say that again, sorry? Do you feel like your confidence level is at a stage where you would just take on anyone? You are happy to fight anyone at the moment? Yeah, I'll fight anyone. I mean, you know that. You know. Um, I just believe in myself. I keep saying it. I'm not arrogant. I'm just confident. I believe in myself. And if you ain't got no belief in yourself, you're in the wrong game. Um, and honestly, and I'm not here to be cocky. I beat a lot of these, a lot of these fighters that you see top level. I spar a lot of these fighters, and I think if this was about, you, do you know what I mean? It would be different ball game. So, I mean, look, man, I'm here to learn. At the end of the day, it's one thing doing it in the gym is another thing doing it on fight night. I looked at my lot. I just looked at the stoppage now. I think they just showed me on front women's team. Um, I hurt him, and then I go swinging for him. I mean. If, if I was in, this, if I was sparring, I probably would have hurt him, and I would have stepped back and then worked to my shots a bit better. But when you're in there, you got an atmosphere and whatnot. Everything goes 100 miles per hour, so you don't really, sit, you know, you don't really think like that. So, but I can see everything the man was doing and whatnot. How good was it to have the fans screaming? They were, they were really getting behind you. Can you tell? I was thriving. I loved it. Um, I only had one fight in front of a crowd on my debut, so it was a bit weird. I'm hearing noise. You know what I mean? Um. No, I loved it though. I could hear the chants. It was, it was real good. So we're going to see you back in matter of weeks. Yeah, ho hopefully, hopefully you see me back um, as soon as possible. I mean, when's the next show? Thirtieth, the thirty-first. I don't think it's that soon. But I go, I go home. I sleep for two hours, two, three hours. I get up and I get ready for the next fight. 
man. Just wait for Frank and then wait for the, the people around me and um, what they say is best, to be fair. Well, great performance tonight. Well done. Pleasure, man. Thank, thank you, thank you. you. I'll see you soon. Yeah, see you soon.